How's it guys? This is Darren from the Filter Shop. Today I'm going to be taking you through programming the F63B1 softener valve. This is one of two digital softener valves we send out with our water softeners. Uh, the other model is the F63B3, but I'll do a different video on to show you how that one. They're very, very similar looking, but I will do a different video for that unit. Um, what I'm just going to quickly do is plug this unit in here. All right, so it's turned on. Uh, very shortly it'll bring up a little message showing the model number. Uh, here we go. All right, so it's the F63B1. All right, and then it's going to normal operation. I'm just going to put it aside for a moment, and I just want to take you what's inside the box with this unit. Okay, you get your seal, which is for the bottom of the valve head when you're connected onto your vessel. You get this little drain nozzle here with its flat O-ring for sealing. Okay, you get your nut uh, insert and your little brine uh, controller. This is for your brine tank connection to the valve head. Okay. Then you get your 220 volt transformer. Okay, it's just a two pin plug. Um, it's then just a little a little uh, plug here that then goes into the 12 volts uh, connection there. Now the valve head is 12 volts, so if you do have a 12 volt setup, you can just connect it directly to the 12 volt and then you don't require this component. There is also this control wire. Now in residential situations, you're not gonna use this. This is more for commercial and industrial applications. Okay, so don't worry about this. And then you've got your manual here. Now the manual is actually quite in depth, but we do have some people struggle with it a little bit, which is why we're doing this video, just to help people get a visual idea of what's going on. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that all side here and then bring the valve head back forward okay so right now as the valve head sits it's in its normal uh, operation shown by the little bar here it's locked showing by this little key here and it's going to show you three things when it's just in normal operation the first is what time in the morning it's set to go off the second is how many days before the regeneration okay you see here that's by this little hourglass indicator and it's showing 10 days with this little D on the top here. So what this means is that in 10 days time at 2 o'clock in the morning it's going to go off and do its regeneration. Now it's just brought up the time of day so it's saying it's 4 past 2 okay shown by this little clock icon here okay and then obviously then the third thing will come up will be again that 2 o'clock in the morning. Alright so see it's just changed to 5 past 2 okay so this is normal operation yeah so there that's that's the 2 a.m. in the morning. Remember both the uh, time of day and the regeneration time are both 24 hour clocks okay so this is 2 a.m. in the morning. Alright now this little unit shown by the key here is locked so if I press these buttons nothing happens okay so to unlock the valve head what I'll do is I'll hold down the down and up button together until I hear a little audible beep Okay, there's a little beep, little key icons going, showing that now the valve head is unlocked. Okay, if you press, this is your, to get into the uh, settings section, you'll press this little button here once. Okay, and it'll bring up this little spanner here, showing that now it's in the programming section. Okay, so the first thing it brings up is your time of day. Okay, I'm going to leave it at, as 2.05 for now, um, but if your time is, say, 4, 5, 6 o'clock, to change it, you would press the set button once. You'll see the hour starts to flash, showing that you're ready to change your hour of day. Keep in mind this is 24 hours, so if you want to go, say, 3 o'clock, you change it to 15. I'm going to keep it at 2 o'clock for now. If, you want to, if uh, for example, it's not 2.05, it's 2.10, and I want to change the minutes, I will click the little set button again. The minutes start flashing, and then I just press up to go higher or lower. I'm going to change it to 10 past 2. All right. So now that's happy, it's all flashing. You can see here the little spanner's still flashing, showing it's still waiting to be set into place. To set it, you press it one more time. Okay, now it's set. Now the spanner icon isn't flashing anymore, and you know it's set. All right, now we're going to go to the next section. Now this is your regeneration time. Okay, again, this is a 24-hour clock. From the factory, it's normally set to 2 a.m. in the morning. The reason is, remember, when your water softener is running, you're not going to have any water. So typically, you want to set this time for the regeneration to a time when no one in the house actually needs water. Okay, it's set to 2 o'clock at the moment, which is normally what most people want. Uh, but let's say you know that no one's at the house in the morning because everyone's at school or something along those lines. So you're going to change it to 10 o'clock in the morning. So then you press the set button once. Okay, the hours starts to flash. The spanner's flashing. So you press up. We're going to take it to 10 o'clock. Okay, happy with 10 o'clock, press it again. I don't want to change the minutes, but maybe you'd like to change the minutes. Again, you would either go up or down. You want to change it to say 10 past 10, just, just as an example, okay? Okay, so I've changed my hours, I've changed my minutes. The span is still flashing, I want to set it. Press it again, and now it's set. So this valve head will now, when it does its regeneration, it will be at 10 o'clock in the morning, at 10 past 10 in the morning, okay? So now I'm gonna to go to the next section. 
All right, now this is the number of days before regeneration. Okay, now it's shown here with this little, little hourglass here. Now this this particular uh, time will depend on your situation, what you're going to set it to. Normally, when if a new water softener, what we'll recommend is setting it to seven days. So if I want to change the number of days, I'm going to press the set button. Okay, it's going to start flashing the days, spanner flashing. I'm going to press down to get to my seven days, and then I'm going to set that by pressing this button again. Okay, so now it's set for seven days to go off at that 10 past 10 that we set the previous option. Okay, so I'm going to press down to go to the next option. Okay, now this is the first stage in your actual regeneration stage. This is the backwash, which you can see here is shown by this little little uh, bar here with these three arrows pointing up. Okay, so this is where the softener is flushing out any dirt or sand or anything that's being caught inside. Okay, now it's set to 10 minutes. Um, that's typically what kind of what you're kind of looking at. You can set it for longer if you do have quite a dirty water less if you don't have quite a dirty water i would normally aim for 10 minutes because you do want it to have a quite a thorough uh, backwash i'm going to change it now to a minute in fact i'm going to change all the settings to a minute and that's only so i can show you everything running through its cycle i would never recommend any of these settings only be set to a minute in, in, a, in a real life situation okay but let's just change this to um to a minute now the difference here with the clock times for the time of day and the um, time the regeneration will happen is that you're changing only per second this is this is so it's 10 minutes that's the reason the whole unit's flashing so if i change this it's now nine minutes and 59 seconds so i'm changing it by seconds and it'll be the same through all the regeneration parts okay so if i hold down the button it will take it through quite quickly i want to take it to a minute you hold it down you can you can click one two three four but if you want to get uh, jump through the numbers quite quickly you can hold it down and then it will jump through itself and you'll see that shortly okay so it's jumping through we're going down to a minute not quite almost Oops, too much. And that, that's unfortunately one of the one of the problems that can happen if you hold down the button is that you can go too far. Okay, so now I've set my backwash to run for a minute. Okay, so now I want that to run for that long. I press the set button. Okay, now it's set. Spanner stop flashing. I go down. Now this is the regeneration. Okay, so you can see here there's a little drum here, a little tank here, and it's got an arrow going up. And that's showing that water's been drawn at this stage, water's been drawn with the brine mixture out of the brine tank into the softener. Okay. It's set to 60 minutes. That's pretty much uh, the, the factory settings for it. Okay. Again, I'm going to change this for a minute only so I can quickly run you through it. I would never recommend a minute. You can set this down to say half an hour if you don't have heavy lime, but the heavier your lime, the longer you're going to want to set it. Again, if I press set it flashes the whole thing again i'm going to have to change this per second okay so i'm going to press down and this will take just a moment to get it down to a minute if we just hold it it will jump through this will take a bit longer than the last one but we'll just get there quickly Okay, yeah, sorry, this, this, it does take a little while, but once we get there, then we'll run it through. Oh, so close again. Okay, so now that's set to a minute. I'm going to press this spanner stop spinning is now set to regenerate for a minute okay now the next one is your brine refill so you'll see it's a little tank here with an arrow pointing down so this is where now the softener has used the brine mixture out of the tank put it into the softener now it wants to put water back in the tank it'll <clears throat> excuse me it'll take water out of the tank uh, out of the vessel and put it back into the tank okay again i'm going to change this to a minute just to speed things up a little bit let me just hold this down Okay, now one thing with this uh, softener valve that I can mention quickly while we're just waiting to get there is the softener valve has a capacitor inside, uh, which is good for about three days. So if there's a power outage or something along those lines, you won't lose your programming unless it's longer than three days. If it's a, a, a power outage for a day, your programming will stay will stay intact on the unit. Okay, all right, so we're there at a minute. Press the spanner, done. Okay, 
and now we're on the final part of the regeneration cycle which is the fast rinse. Now the fast rinse is designed to remove the salt that was sitting inside the vessel so that you don't get salt coming into the house. This normally can be a short, relatively short one, 5 minutes, 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to change it to a minute for our purposes here in this video. You can see that the, the fast rinse is a little bar with uh, the arrows pointing down towards so as though it's flashing. Okay. Okay, so that's set to a minute, press once, okay, and then we get to our last setting, which is this B01. Now what this refers to is how how many times in a regeneration cycle the softener will run through the regeneration. This is not something you need to change, this is something you shouldn't change. It should be B-01 all the time. If it's B-03 or something like that, which can happen sometimes, you need to just change it back to B01. Okay, and just keep it at that B01. Alright. Okay, back, and if we go down again, then it brings back, us back to the clock. Okay, um, now what you would normally do is you just leave it at this point. If you just walk away from the valve head, it will automatically go back into its normal operation. Um, you'll see the lock symbol will come up. You basically you don't need to touch it, you don't need to press anything to lock it. It will lock itself automatically. Okay, now what I do want to show you is how we can force the softener valve into a regeneration cycle. Say you think there's been a lot of hardness coming through, you've used more water than you normally would and you're not going to get to your normal time, you can force the softener valve to go through regeneration. Now to do that you will press this little icon here, okay, so you press it once and then you press it again. Okay, so you'll hear the sound of the valve head, it's currently turning the valve inside, changing the flow of the water. Okay, so now, this is normally what will happen in your normal regeneration. It'll show you what part of the regeneration cycle it's in. Okay, so right now it's counting down the minutes that we were going through. It's in, as shown by the icon here, it's in the backwash cycle. So now it's just washing out all that dirt and sand and everything inside the vessel. It's going through that, it's going to count down to, to your... Uh, uh, time and then it's going to automatically change through okay so it just shows the time of day it's acting as though it's normally going now what you'll see is when it's in the regeneration this little bar won't won't move this little bar will be will be blank because it's currently regenerating the bar will only be moving when the water is going through it normally and going into your house okay so counting down we've got 15 seconds and at the end of that time what's going to happen is it's then going to jump to the next cycle which is this one here which is your uh, actual regeneration where it's pulling that water out of the brine so now you're here see it's just locked itself now if you just listen okay so i haven't touched anything it's automatically gone into its regeneration cycle so it's turning that valve head inside and that little icon here shows that it's currently turning the valve okay Okay, now I just need to unlock this quickly again. Okay, I don't want... Okay, let's say... Let's say it's on the normal regeneration now, and it's it's 30 minutes into the regeneration. You had it set for 60, but you can't wait for it to get through. Now I'm going to force it to go to the next section. So I'm going to press that button once, and now it's running through to the next section, which will be your brine refill. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to wait for that. I'm just going to jump through that cycle quickly for the sake of this video. Okay, I'm jumping through, so I'm getting to that last regeneration cycle, which is your fast rinse. I'm also just going to skip through that quickly. Okay. Okay, and now we're back into normal operation when the water is running through the unit and into your house. You can see that green little bar is flashing again. And that's basically it on the unit. I'm going to walk away, leave it, and in seven days' time, it'll automatically go through the regeneration cycle that, that you've set. Um, so essentially, essentially, that's basically it, guys. It looks very complicated, but it really is a simple thing to use. As I say, the, I remember that the one minutes that I've set here are never something we would recommend for a water softener. It was just purely for the, for the sake of this video and to speed things up. Okay, guys. As, as for now, that's Darren from the Filter Shop. If you have any questions or anything regarding the valve head, please uh, uh, give us a call or send us an email at sales at filtershop.co.za. And that'll be it for now. See you guys.